Hey homies, what's good? It's Chris and welcome back to the channel. Well, based on my location, you see that I'm in Miami and when I'm home, I can't resist it. I have to try to convince my mom to make some of the favorites that I'm longing for when I'm away. One of which is today's recipe, Jamaican style stew peas. Now I'm taking one for the team and I'm gonna do the begging, but I know my pops will enjoy this too, cause it's been a minute. So let's cook. And then if you go this way, this is their master bathroom. And it has their jacuzzi tub there. And then their private quarters are here. And then the laundry room side, this is the everyday kitchen that she uses. And she's getting the stew peas ready. So this is pig's tail that she soaked. I believe she soaked it to get a lot of the salt off. It's salted and then she slow cooks it to get it cooked. I believe she's gonna throw this off and then um, rinse it again and boil it. These are the peas, but they don't matter. Some people you put the regular ginger. Don't feel like feeling it. Okay, so you gonna soak the peas by the way? Every all the time, you see, all the time I throw it in the pot, you see, all the time I'm going to let it sit there about an hour or two. So I fell asleep, but in the pressure cooker, she added in the pig's tail and then the end pieces of the oxtail. You know the really, really small pieces? She doesn't cook those to make regular oxtail. She saves them for dishes like this. In your pressure cooker, add your peas that you've had soaking, scallions, which is green onions, thyme, onion, garlic, all of your dry seasonings that you would like to use. I'll go ahead and insert that stuff down below. Put this in the pressure cooker. She didn't pressure it. What she did was to just cook it low and slow. But look at this, and we're not even done. It's a color. I'm just stumping with flour. You know, the same thing when you boil them, you just put a little salt. When you fry them, you put baking powder. But this is just a little too much color. I like a lot of that. Put too much water, I get too mushy. How much flour is that? About, say about um, a half a cup. Alright, so she added the dry seasoning already in there. I put a um, recipe below that's similar. She's gonna cut up red pepper, green pepper, orange pepper, and a small yellow onion. So you put this at the end. Not again, like it's going to cook down another half an hour or more in the pot now to finish it up. Let us put this on and it's stay the same as these. It's dissolved, but I like it. So you put the spinners in first or this? No, because then you're going to have the spinners stuck on top of these. So I put these in, let them sink in there. Okay, so when they sink, then you, okay. The spinner stuck with the thing, so I make that stew for a minute. Now sink now. The season. You see oxtail pieces that you put in when you um you save the little fine pieces. I don't put that on plate when I serve oxtail, so I save these pieces and put it in there, and then the pig still. And I don't, some people mince the pig still. I don't like that. I like when you get it on your plate. See this mushing up? Mm -hmm. If you, they cut them all that in three pieces, so you just know. I like if you're getting meat, you get meat on your plate. Put it in a minute. Let's take a look at this. Don't do this, do that. You just drop them out and put them in here. Okay. 
so about how many more minutes did they say? I'll leave it a good half an hour or more. Okay, yeah, so I'm not in any cook. rush, like I'm saying, it just stay and it's slowly cooked to them. So that you get it till it go down to enough gravy you want. Okay, so the, uh, the dumplings can go in like 30 minutes before you turn it on. But you're just gonna cook it slowly. Yeah, not in any rush. You can stand there while a dumpling, it won't hurt it, but you just make it stay there cook. That's So if you wanted to make this without pork, you could just do like a salted oxtail? Yeah. I need a corn beef, a piece of corn beef. Yeah. See the consistency? And there's no coconut milk, no mushing on no peas, you just make it and cook slowly. Very nourish. So when you go to the Caribbean, they have salted, um, any kind of salted meat can make shooties. Oh yeah. I used to love this as a child. Yes, okay. It tastes good, y'all. Mm -mm -mm. I can't wait for dinner. So with shooties, we serve it with white rice. That's the best thing to do. Mm -mm -mm. Salt. I don't put no salt because of this. So the one thing that I didn't hear from my mom is her green thumb. Because when I tell you that my plant babies die, I have no clue what I'm doing with that. So my mom can take care of my dad. <laughs> my dad is crushing. Crushing off the out of the chair. I don't know what to do. There's the one that we bought off at one time, like this is my way of passing it back. He's taking his out of the shed. What is she doing? And we're back. I'm pooped. So one of the things that I used to be in charge of when I was growing up was doing the salads. Today, my mom has got it. I'm telling you all my secrets. I used to come when you would cook when I was little. I would wait till you finish and then I'll come sneak in the pot. All right, so I've always been the taster. So that is just a premature sample of my stew peas. So if you like red beans and rice, then you definitely will love stew peas. It has that smokiness, that smoky taste. That's the oxtail and peas. <laughs> Y'all know my mouth is watering in. See how tender that is? Now remember, 
when you turn the stove off and let it sit before serving, it's going to thicken up a little bit more. I like my stew piece kind of thick because then it kind of clings to the rice. That's the best part. This has to be my favorite picture of my mom. Here she's 18 years old and I believe this is her first apartment. But my thing is, can you get into the pose? Look at that dress. The skin is glowing. The hair is laid and I don't know where she was going but I'm sure that she lit up the room. I love this woman. She's one of my very, very best friends. This picture was taken of my parents. This is my mommy and my pops. My pops is actually my stepdad. I don't say stepdad or stepmom. He's my pops. My stepmother is my mom and I always call my mommy mommy. Thank you so much for watching this video. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not already and leave some comments down below. As always, please stay safe.